So here's a really interesting case, again, with, with a mobile robot. Um, and I'm not going to name names, uh, but it was a, a robot that was deployed in hundreds of sites. And so it didn't have like somebody following the robot. And the sites were all different, right? Indoor so, or outdoor? Just so it was indoor. It. Okay. it was just indoor. Um, so there was this one robot that would misbehave every day at 3 p.m. Oh, interesting. Like one particular or the one, one model particular across robot, multiple One particular robot, one unit. Got it. But then it, it, would, it would stop and not complete its mission. Huh. And then after a lot of uh, investigation, what they discovered was there was a, a skylight and door would come in and there was a like a like a piece of metal um, kind of com you know in the in the you know covering the crack between two um, p two parts of the floor yeah right um, so that would reflect and it would overwhelm the the sensors and the robot was always in that position at 3 p.m. So it and the, the robot had a mission that started around 3 p.m. and always went through that space. Huh. But it did it, it did that three times during the day, and the other two times, it just didn't have this problem because of the position of the sun. Because yeah, there was nothing nothing reflecting at that time. That's interesting. So one of those kind of like those are really really hard to find. 